so let's start with the upward flower. Now this is the most basic and this is going to be a quick tutorial. So what I want you to think of doing is using the blade edge to cut forward. Now if we break this down into application, it's a diagonal upward cut across the body this side and a diagonal cut upward across the body on this side. There's lots of different ways that you can practice this, but right now I want you to make sure you know what your other hand is doing and you keep it out of the line of fire. So you're gonna just take that hand and you're gonna support your wrist. This is something you can move later on. You can have it in a center and a guard position. You can keep it back at the waist if you want. But for now, let's go ahead and touch the arm. So again, we're gonna go up, cut across. Now, when I do this, I'm not gonna try to point the blade up. I'm not gonna try to lose that connection in the wrist. I'm going to keep my blade pointing forward, the tip of the blade. And then I'm going to bring it down to the side and then up. Again, blade pointing forward. So it's up, 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 up and across. Now when you do this by yourself, I want you to start nice and big so you get the mechanics of the motion. And if you can continue it like a circle going past the body, you'll have a nice flow to it. Now the key to taking it from one cut down, two cut, is to, to rely more on your wrist, elbow and shoulder. So you don't want to turn the body too much to bring it across, lifting up the arm too much. We're just going to have limited range with the wrist and we're going to relax the hand a little bit. The grip should uh, loosen up a little bit. You should keep mainly the, the ring finger and the middle finger tight for this. The index finger should loosen up a little bit and the pinky finger should loosen up a little bit and then you want to relax nice and easy, letting the blade go from side to side of your body. Once you get comfortable with that, you can start putting it in between movements. Uh, in the toilet foot system, we usually have it coming out of uh, like an extended poke, and then you shift back into the flower or you can use it from an upward position, step forward, and then right into the flower. Again, keep the hand on the wrist, you'll know what you're doing with it. One of the most common mistakes is to let the hand relax. So you gotta make sure you keep that hand nice and strong. So later on, you can just hold it in a strong guard position while the other hand is flowering the sword, okay? There's a lot more to go with this one, so get this down, work on it, practice it until it's a very fluid motion, okay? Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam! Fist with a foe out!